Hey guys, George here from Game Theory Tables. It's Wednesday, March 15th. It's approximately one week after the end of our season three of our 30 Days of Lip Gaming Kickstarter campaign. And we concluded with 604 excited backers of our new tables, the Origins Lip and the Meeple's Champion. This morning, we received a scary looking email from Kickstarter saying that our campaign was removed from public view due to intellectual property violation, which is extremely surprising to us. What was more concerning was that Kickstarter sent the entire backers list that same email, causing uncertainty and fear across our entire backer ecosystem. Now, it is worth saying up front that all of our products are designed in-house and organically with a lot of help from gamer feedback, and we listen to our customers for guide for product development directions. Now, upon receiving the details of the IP violation, it turns out that what caused Kickstarter to turn our campaign off and send fear across our backers was a complaint from Christopher Gates at Wormwood, who coincidentally had their own Kickstarter going on right now with serious financial ramifications for their own firm. Now, we'll post the actual Kickstarter verbiage that we got in the descriptions. Now, what the complaint was referring to was two specific marketing images of new products that we designed and developed during the campaign, our DM command shelf and the player wing shelf. Now, here are the two images in question for your reference. And we blurred out the parts um, in question out of respect for Kickstarter. The image we created was a quick comparison reference to the fact that our DM command shelf and the player wing shelf incorporates quite a few of their functions and also some new ones and is not intended to infringe on any of their designs. We work with the goal of giving shoppers an alternative with greater functionality and value. Our new products has no resemblance to any of Wormwood's products and the functions of having a cup holder or wells in a board is, is common use application. It turns out that the intimidating IP email that was sent to over 600 backers was about two comparison images that can be argued as public domain and or fair use. What we did. So we immediately responded to Kickstarter with updated image assets to replace the ones in question. We're happy to reverse, to revise any of that if it causes any discomfort to Wormwood. We're following up with Kickstarter to get the campaign reinstated as quickly as possible and does not affect any of our products of the campaign. Now to our backers. Rest assured that none of the details of the campaign and delivery timelines have changed. We didn't lose any information or stop work. The campaign is just hidden and we're working with Kickstarter to get the, pledge, uh, to get the page public again. Now, here are my feelings. Now, personally, I feel like going through Kickstarter to pause our entire campaign and scare our backers over us developing new accessories was a bit heavy handed. Now, if your intention was to scare backers and financially derail our Kickstarter campaign, just know that we'll continue to speak truth and transparency and stand up behind our products and our backers. However, if your intention was to motivate our team to compete in the board game table space even harder, congratulations, you've massively accomplished that task. The two new products that we designed, the DM Command Shelf and the wing, Player Wing Shelf, not only incorporate several popular accessories available all into one, but we actually designed quite a lot of new innovations and value for backers into those two accessories alone. And in the last 30 days, we've also introduced large and wide format sizing for most of our popular tables. Not to mention that we're still only the only brand on the market to offer fully customized playing services. Now it's Christopher Gates and Doug. My email is george at gametheorytables.com. Next time, shoot me an email and I'd be happy to make any appropriate changes quickly without the need to scare any of our backers. Now remember from basic business and econ classes, competition and market only benefits the customers because products get better and more value is unlocked. Now, if you guys want to compete traditionally, I'm actually here to give you the roadmap on how to do so. Number one, ship your products quicker than we do and get your players playing faster. Number two, bring your prices down to make your products available to more gamers. Number three, Build products with more value than ours, and then give that value to your customers. That's the roadmap. That's it. If you beat us that way, I'll shake your hand and say good game. But if you try to scare our backers, like what happened today, the internet, internet will find out. You guys know that.